Have you ever wondered how a fish could look like a lion? Sounds funny, right? Well, meet the lionfish, a creature with a mane of venomous spines. Lionfish are one of Mother Nature's most intriguing creations. Imagine a fish with a vibrant display of colors, red, white, and black stripes that make it stand out in the blue ocean. Now picture this fish with long, spiky fins that spread out like a fan, much like a lion's mane. But here's the kicker. These aren't just any ordinary fins, they're venomous. Yes, you heard right, venomous. This fish doesn't play around. These flamboyant swimmers are also known by several other names like terroir, zebrafish, firefish, turkeyfish, tastyfish, and butterfly cod, each name as unique as the fish itself, but despite their different names, all these fish share the same striking appearance and venomous nature. Now, if you're thinking, this fish sounds like the punk rocker of the sea, you're not far off. With its vibrant colors and spiky, venomous fins, the lionfish could easily be the lead vocalist in an underwater punk band. And just like a punk rocker, they're not afraid to stand out and make a statement. Their bold appearance is a clear warning to predators, stay away or you'll get a taste of my venomous spines. But don't let their intimidating appearance fool you. These fish are more than just their venomous spines. They're fascinating creatures with a lot to offer. From their unique hunting techniques to their ability to adapt to various environments, there's a lot more to the lionfish than meets the eye. So, the next time you come across a lionfish, whether it's in an aquarium or in a book, remember, there's a lot more to this punk rocker of the sea than its venomous spines and vibrant colors. But for now, let's appreciate them from a distance, shall we? With a look that screams don't touch, lionfish are certainly a sight to behold. Imagine living in warm tropical waters surrounded by colorful coral reefs. Sounds like paradise, right? This is the everyday life of a lionfish. Now let's dive into the home of the lionfish. These striking creatures favor the balmy waters of the Indo-Pacific region. Here they love to live in the labyrinths of coral reefs, mangroves, and seagrass beds. But they're not just homebodies, no, these fish are quite the explorers, and are known to venture as deep as 300 feet below the surface. That's almost as tall as the Statue of Liberty. Their homes aren't just for lounging around though. These habitats are hunting grounds where lionfish seek out their next meal. And what's on the menu, you ask? Well, lionfish aren't too picky. They feed mainly on small fish and crustaceans, but they've been known to make a meal of just about anything they can fit in their mouths. Now here's a fun fact for you. Lionfish have an insatiable appetite and can consume prey up to half their own size. That's like you eating a watermelon in one bite. Imagine that, their hunting technique is pretty impressive too. They corner their prey using their large, fan-like pectoral fins, then quickly gulp them down with a swift suction action. It's like a surprise party where the guests are the snacks. But it's not all about food. These habitats also provide protection from predators and a place for lionfish to lay their eggs. So you see the lionfish's home is more than just a house. It's a restaurant, a nursery, and a fortress all rolled into one. And despite their venomous spines, lionfish are quite peaceful, preferring to hang out in their coral castles rather than picking fights. They're like the gentle giants of the sea if you will. Living in paradise and having a big appetite, that's the life of a lionfish. And remember, even though they might seem like the perfect pet, it's best to leave these beautiful creatures in the wild where they belong. After all, who would want to leave paradise? Ever wondered how the lionfish came to be? Buckle up because we're going on a journey through time. Our journey begins millions of years ago, when the first lionfish swam through the Earth's oceans. These ancient lionfish were similar to the ones we know today with their long, venomous spines and vibrant colors. Over time, as the world changed around them, so did the lionfish. The lionfish's ability to adapt to different environments is one of the reasons they've survived for so long. Now let's fast forward to about half a million years ago. This is when we start to see the different species of lionfish we know today. There are actually about 12 species of lionfish, all belonging to the terroir genus. Each species has its own unique characteristics, but they all share the trademark features of the lionfish. The striking stripes, the feathery fins, and of course, the venomous spines. Speaking of venomous spines, did you know that this is a fairly recent development in lionfish evolution? It's true! Scientists believe that the lionfish developed their venomous spines as a form of defense against predators. And it's worked pretty well considering that lionfish have very few natural predators. But perhaps the most amazing thing about lionfish is their ability to reproduce. A single female lionfish can lay up to 2 million eggs in a year. 
This rapid reproduction rate combined with their adaptability has allowed lionfish to spread to many different parts of the world. In fact, lionfish are now found in the Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean Sea, and even in parts of the Mediterranean Sea. And while their spread has caused some problems, it's also a testament to the lionfish's incredible survival skills. From ancient times to today, the lionfish has been a fascinating creature of the deep. So the next time you see a lionfish, remember that you're looking at a creature that has survived millions of years of Earth's history. And who knows, maybe one day we'll see lionfish swimming in even more parts of the world. What's it like to be a lionfish? Let's dive in and find out. Now you might wonder, are lionfish social butterflies, or are they more of the lone wolf type? Well, they're actually a bit of both. They tend to hang out in groups called shoals during the day. But when the sun goes down, it's every fish for themselves as they head out to hunt. Talk about a unique social life. Speaking of hunting, lionfish are no slouches in the food chain. They're carnivores, which means they eat other animals, mainly smaller fish and crustaceans. With their wide mouths and quick reflexes, they're pretty good at catching their next meal. But every creature has something to fear, and for the lionfish, it's larger fish and humans. That's right, humans. Some people actually hunt lionfish for sport or food. But here's a word of caution. Lionfish have venomous spines that can cause severe pain and illness in humans. Now you might be thinking, venomous spines? That sounds scary! And you'd be right. But these spines aren't there just to frighten us, they're actually a defense mechanism against predators. If a larger fish tries to make a meal out of a lionfish, it's in for a nasty surprise. In terms of parasites, lionfish have very few. They're pretty clean fish, and their venomous spines keep most parasites at bay. It seems being venomous has its perks. And what about their interaction with humans? Well, besides the occasional encounter with a brave or foolhardy diver, lionfish are generally left alone. They're beautiful to look at, but their venomous spines make them a risky catch. So if you're ever lucky enough to spot a lionfish while snorkeling or diving, remember to admire them from a safe distance. They're a sight to behold. But getting too close could turn your underwater adventure into a painful experience. Living like a lionfish means being beautiful but dangerous, so remember kids, look but don't touch. Think you're a lionfish expert now? Let's put your knowledge to the test. Here come three questions about our star of the sea, the lionfish. Question 1. What's one unique physical feature of the lionfish? Is it A. Stripy patterns, B. A long tail, or C. A unicorn horn? Question 2. Where does the lionfish call home? Is it A. The Sahara Desert, B. The Amazon Rainforest, or C. The Coral Reefs? And finally question 3. What does a lionfish love to snack on? Is it A. Ice cream, B. Small fish and shrimp, or C. Pizza? Tick tock! Time's up! Were you able to answer all three? Whether you got them all right or learned something new, you're on the right track. Great job, marine explorers. Keep learning, keep exploring, and remember, knowledge is the greatest treasure. Wow! We've learned so much about the lionfish today. These fantastic fish, also known as terawa, zebrafish, firefish, turkeyfish, tastyfish, and butterfly cod, sure do have a lot of names, don't they? We've dived into their venom and physical description, discovered their habitat and diet, and even traveled back in time to explore their evolution and species. We've also learned about their ecology and social behavior, their prey, predators and parasites, and how they interact with us humans. That's a lot of information, right? But remember, knowledge is power. So go ahead and share what you've learned today about the lionfish with your friends and family. They'll be amazed by all the cool facts you know. And before you go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to join the Guru Kids Smart Kids channel for more fun and learning. Until next time, keep exploring.